Hey there, it's Tyler from Tyler Has Words. We're going to do a mainstream review today. Frankly, uh, I don't do them that often because there are people that do it better. My channel is reserved for quirkier stuff like pseudo-intellectual, pseudo-scientific, half-baked theories and blathering. Also baking tips and dancing. But I have to talk about Dune like everybody else for a few, and that's just the way life is, so let's do it. Spoilers for the book and movie. Straight up, both are done very well. I particularly like all the sand and how sandy it is. This is one of those stories with a title that is super apropos because of the sand. As far as the book, it's, it's long, so that's not my favorite, but I ripped through it real quick. It has weight and stakes, and I genuinely cared about all the characters. I think, yeah. Also, don't forget the sand. It's all over the place. In the movie, we get to see the main family move from this beautiful planet that looks like the capital of fecundity to, uh, to the sand planet. I mean, I knew this was going to happen in the movie because I read the book, but uh, they do a, the visuals make it all the more startling, the change. And that's what this book is really about, or the story is really about. It's about changes, big ones. That's the nice thing about the main character. His evolution is intense and fairly constant, both in the book and in the talking picture. You know, sometimes Destiny movies can be lame. There's a reason for that. You know, you kind of know that there's this special character and you're just sitting around looking at your watch, waiting for them to realize and become and metamorphosize. So you can get bored. Fortunately, I think Dune has enough of an interesting world and an, a, a different kind of story to keep you interested and you won't fall victim to that problem. All the main character's gifts are super interesting. Dude's just next leveling all the time. Especially in the novel, it's done really well, the writing. It could be confusing the way he's kind of evolving mentally and physically and like how he can see and it's just kind of like he's got like this mental projection power and just it's very, it could be really, really like you get bogged down in, in the description of it. But like I kind of did feel like I understood what he was going through, which means kudos to the writer um, and it's depicted well in the film. Uh, I think better in the book, but whatever. One thing I thought was weird is that Paul, the main character, does not have any homies. Nobodies. Uh, I don't know. We don't see them anyway. I guess the guy Duncan is his, is his boy, but he's more of a protector role, not like a friend role. I guess when you're, you know, like, gonna become, like, some kind of space hero, dude, you don't really have time for hanging out with the boys. Whatever, you know, you know priorities. Another thing, the movie uh, just stops doesn't end, I meant it just stops. So there's a movie, and then there's no movie. That wasn't my favorite thing. I'm assuming they make another one, all good, baby. So the book writer isn't just writing hacky sci-fi. He's writing a good story in, in good prose. And the director is equally skilled at his craft, and if I could pronounce his name correctly, uh, without sounding like a moron, I would do so. Alas, I cannot. You know, it got me thinking, though, isn't it just like the universe to put the most valuable commodity ever in the most harsh and unforgiving place? I mean, the universe is a friggin' ball buster. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Or wait a minute, is it because it's in a harsh and unforgiving place, is that why it's so valuable? Are we drifting into economics here? Scarcity? Supply and demand curves? I better stop before this gets messy. Read Dune and see Dune, that's my reco. They don't make enough high-level stuff anymore. And that's not completely true because there's still a million things out there and a lot of it's really high quality, but you know, a lot of it's not the best. Dune, it has uh, big boy pants pulled all the way up. It's like the real deal. I will say though that if you're super into water and your movies and books, this is not for you. That reminds me, I need to review Waterworld, the Kevin Costner film, which I never will. I mean, it was all right or whatever. Anyway, jam out to this story about space and spice, supply chains. Apparently those matter to some people. Uh, cheers and see you after.